Have you noticed that the battery external board we use to modify the health of the battery is easily damaged, and different models of batteries should be matched with the corresponding board. The operation is also more complicated. The price is more expensive. These external boards are now obsolete. Let's take a look at this new W09 tester. It integrates all models of the iPhone 11 to 15 Pro Max battery with the buckle only requiring an instrument connection. Different cables can be used to quickly restore the data health to 100%. I happen to have an iPhone 11 Pro Max. Let me show you the complete process of restoring battery health data. First of all, find the corresponding type of cable buckle. Each row of cables is marked with a general model. Carefully confirm the model. Tie the cable to the motherboard battery buckle. We use the original buckle, so it will not cause the battery to fail to read the data. Then the transplanted battery is attached to the instrument. This newly transplanted battery needs to be powered and activated before it can be used normally. If you find that the battery is stuck on the device without any indication, don't panic. We just need to plug in the phone, charger and activate it to make the device work. The first option is battery pop-up, health repair, which is used to change the health of the phone to 500 the second battery test cable read and write is used to modify the default parameters of the external board. If you want to change the default efficiency to 100 change it in this option. Click select first. The initial setup of the instrument is 500 efficient. Why would we change the efficiency to 500 Because if you only change it to 500 the efficiency may drop to about 598 after a few days of customer use. But what if you change the efficiency to 510? He won't fall so easily. Remember not to clear the number of cycles. Once you clear it, you will find that the displayed efficiency is completely different from the efficiency you wrote. That's because the number of cycles affects the efficiency of the battery you write, resulting in inaccuracies. The third pop-up state is when it displays the battery pop-up mode. When the phone is turned on, it displays an unknown part. The purpose of this pop-up is to refresh the previous display of the old battery efficiency. Let me show you the process of starting the pop-up window. Some mobile phone models require plugging in the charger to power the phone in order to boot into the system properly. When the phone is turned on, the device will notify us that the phone has been turned on. Wait for a moment and click on battery health. You will notice that the battery efficiency is no longer displayed correctly, indicating that our first step of refreshing the pop-up health has been successful. The instrument's pop-up mode has automatically switched to non-pop-up mode, and a small text will appear below to indicate that the pop-up was successful. Please reboot the phone. Let's reboot the phone and see the second entry into the system. Can the health be changed to 500 The battery efficiency displayed in the system has changed to 500 after starting up. Although this is 500 just for show, and this battery life doesn't have any practical effect. But for those who have transplanted cell data and many people who do not want to synchronize the battery to 500 battery health is also a good choice. At least some of the people look comfortable, and that's enough. And then I'm gonna take the cable off and I'm gonna put the battery in the phone and we're gonna see if it's 500 healthy. Okay, there is no problem. The battery and the health of the phone show that everything is normal. Let me show you how the two models of iPhone 11 Pro and 11 Pro Max modify the battery health data. Because these two models have two battery holders, the holder on the motherboard is related to the power supply. The tail plug is data related. The two rows of wires marked A are fastened to the main board. The B button is on the top of the tail and I'll show you how it goes. After the wiring is done, connect the instrument and attach the transplanted battery to the instrument. Then you can follow the normal process to modify the battery health data. These two models are relatively special if you only connect one cable. It's not able to complete the operation of modifying the battery health. And then I'll show you the C port in the upper right corner of the instrument that can also be attached to the expansion plate. It is very convenient to connect any small board with only one Type-C to Type-C data cable. And the instrument will support the OTA upgrade version later to add some functions. Finally, have you found that the entire operation process to modify battery health is very simple?